The one I've been telling you about. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Hi, <laughs> <Hey, Harvey. laughs> Harvey. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Hey. I'm trying my best. Mama. mama. Good day. Welcome, mom. Thank you very much. Did you like it? Yes, mama. No, my dog was Ziggy. Thank you very much. Yes. I had to come this early, you know? <laughs> I missed you. I missed you. Too, Take mama. him inside before you name me. See you. Ah, <laughs> I'm coming inside, you oh. All right, mama. What is it? Amanda, I don't have any problem with the young man. But that lady that came here that day, it doesn't look as if she's joking. It doesn't look as if she wants peace. She wants war. She doesn't want any kind of peace. Mama, don't worry. There will be no problem. She'll get used to things. You know, it sounds very easy to you because you're a younger person. But as an elder one, I'm telling you that if you cannot stand her, that she's going to hurt you. Leave this young man alone. He is ready to go all the way to hurt you. Well, Mama, you just said you approve of him. Just I don't want anything to happen to you. You and your brother are all I have. I don't want to lose any of you. Mama, you worry too much. Yeah, because I'm a mother, I am no, concerned. Mama, listen to me. Nothing will happen. Like I said, she will get used to things. She will get used to it. It's eh? okay if you if you say so. Yeah, I'm just, just be careful. I know. I'm concerned. I know. You're just being my sweet mother. <laughs> but I don't worry. Everything will be fine. You know, I know you. When you love, it is all the love, love, love. You don't want to care about the consequences oh, and all that. Melvin is a wonderful person. You said so yourself. And I love him. Come on, friends. They're looking for us. Assuring you that I would um, make sure I set her up when we get back to the city in a way that she'll be so busy to get back to that life. Oh, mm? yes, ma my son, mm? God will bless you. Thank I'll you. I'll be very happy if you fulfill this promise you just made to me now. Amen. And uh, not just that, Mama, as soon as I get back, I will inform my people to start getting ready. Oh. And I also let you know when to inform your people so we can come here and perform the marriage rites. Oh! Mm. Thank you. <laughs> it's alright, man. Thank you so much. It's alright, man. Thank you. Out. You're it's a good man. <laughs> Please take good care of her. Of course, I will. Please. Of course, of course, I will. <laughs> mm. I will take care of her. Mama, I'll miss you. I'll miss you. <laughs> you take care of yourself. I will. And you too, eh? Life is changing. Things we have to be more careful now. Thank you. And live a better life. Thank you. Take care of you. You know, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Mama, it was actually nice seeing you. Huh? I'm glad I did. My pleasure, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you some other time, Mama. Bye well, bye. bye. Oh, Safe journey. Bye bye. Can you see what I'm doing? Hey. Nah, bye bye, no. Bye bye, Mama. Hey. I took a time with that tree and oh, oh, my, oh. Hey! My mother is very, very concerned about your sister. She's scared of her. She should be. You know she came here to threaten her. Though I told her everything is okay now, I told her she won't be a problem anymore. Don't worry, she will come around. I understand her feelings. Alright? You know, in, in, in this whole thing, I just feel used. I feel so bad because if your sister could detest me like this, 
if she feels I'm not good enough for you, that means I'm not good enough for anyone. And everything she ever told me was a lie. The truth is, I fault her for putting you on the wrong path. We're too good. The most important thing is I have you, and you've got me. Okay? I love you. And I love you more. Hmm? Don't worry. Let's go. His yellow dress. Mm, I like it too. And his dreads too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to make it? Mm -hmm. What rubbish! Melvin, did that choose this dead thing over me? Are you talking about the same thing you've been using to make money? The same thing you've been using to acquire wealth for yourself. Remember? Please sit so we can have a decent conversation. I'm not here to sit and discuss nonsense. Melvin. Yep. I too good care of you. Like every sister should have. I put my life on a standstill because of you. When my parents died, I left myself and took you in because I want to give you the best. Melvin, I did everything for you. I saw you through school. I made sure you had the best. Melvin, oh no. I won't let you destroy everything I've worked for. I wouldn't let you. First off, she's not a thing. <laughs> All right, she's human. And I love her just the way she is. Don't forget I know the story and I am willing to stand by her. Listen, I called you out here so we can have a decent conversation like family. But it's obvious you're not ready to calm down and have a, a talk with me. So um, it's fine. It's fine for you to leave and come back whenever you can so we can Talk about this decently, calmly, and not like this. Lady B, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I didn't even know he was your brother. We met each other and we fell in love and it has brought a great change to my life. Lady B, please. Nobody planned this. Can't you see that this is divine? Shut! Oh! What is divine? Can you explain divinity? One more word from you! I will slam all that thing from your mouth. You twat. I will not have that in my house. Please. Alright? You need to calm down. Calm down so we can have a decent conversation. Or better say, you leave. When you're ready, you come back and then we can talk about this. Alright? But please don't talk about slapping her. I won't have you do that. Melvin. Yes, sis. 
Princess. You, you chose this thing over me. It's just not a thing. You insult me because of this thing. I never insulted you. You embarrassed me because of the slot. I did not embarrass you. Bianne, <laughs> that's, that's your charm. That thing you made to control my brother. That man that made it for you. Wherever you got that charm from, go and tell them that I am the antidote to that charm. Like an old man walk. In Moma. <laughs> I know how to deal with your lacks. You are too small. You are a small fly. I will fry you and throw you to the wind to blow away. If you do not leave my brother in peace, nah, you will live in pieces. I do not do threat. It's a promise. You stupid, dirty thing from the goddess. Enough. <laughs> Melvin, I know what to do. Do not worry, my brother. Bye, big sis. Hey, hey, babe. Don't bother yourself with that. Alright? Don't bother yourself with that. It's alright. She can't do jack. Why are you here? I am sorry, Lady B, but I need to talk to you. Lady B, I see you as a benefactor. One who introduced me into this business. I remember what you said to me when I came in here newly. You said if I am lucky, I might meet my husband through this business. And now I met someone. And you're not happy. So I want to ask you, when you said those words to me, were you just saying it to deceive me? so you can make money with me? Or did you mean that? You are spinning rubbish. You are talking gibberish. Nonsense. Baldash. Lady B, when I met you, you told me this business will either make me nor mommy. Fortunately for me, this business is about to make me. I met your brother. And we fell in love with each other. And I can remember very well that when I met your brother, he paid you in full everything you are owed. Everything that is supposed to be paid to you was paid to you in full. I did not just go to him. You were the one who arranged me for him. 
Lady B, I met you and I told you my story. And you told me yours. You said we have similar stories. And you promised to help me. Now God has shown light on me. And you think I am not good enough for your brother. If you think I am not good enough for your brother, then I am not good enough for any man. And I want to ask you again, how did I wrong you? If you're done with your nonsense, use the door. I am done. Get out. <laughs> you think you can come here to blackmail me with your stupid emotional tantrums? You must be joking. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. I used to see this kind of drama and revelation in Hollywood movies. Yes, that's where I used to see them. I never believed such a thing can happen in real life. Hmm. This is more complicated than I thought. Very complicated. You see, I don't know why she won't let me be with this girl. She deceived her into this business and now she detests her so much. Well, um, <clears throat> Melvin, such is life. Such is life. Everyone always go for the best. Nobody likes settling for less. You know, she should allow you both to be, she allow you both to enjoy yourself. You know, I used to think you're not serious before. I thought maybe you're still playing around. But now I can see the connection between you both. Now I know you're serious. You both deserve each other. Bro, you have got my support. I'm right behind you. Okay? I hope she'll calm down soon. Yeah, I mean, I understand her fears, but I just can't comprehend. Well, I believe she will. She'll come down. She'll come to terms with um, the way things are already. Um, yeah, she will. She will come down. Yeah, she'll allow things be, especially now that um, Amanda is with you. She has no choice now to calm down and allow you both enjoy yourself. Thank you very much, bro. You're welcome. So, what's up? Fine, Percy. Why are you not looking so happy? What happened? Nothing I can't handle. Alright? Babes. How was your thing? 
like I said, my day was fine, I guess. Okay. Well then, I believe this would make you happy. It will change your mood. What's in there? What? Babe, you're pregnant. Yes, I am. Oh my God. Like, this is the best news I've had in a long while. <laughs> I'm going to be a father. Yes, baby, you're going to be a father. <laughs> this, this simply means we have to hurry up the wedding plans. I mean, I can't wait to hold your hand and walk down the ah. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, baby, I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you too. Ah. Thank you for all the things you've done for me. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for the peace, for the love, for the positivity. I think I should be the one thanking you for restoring happiness in my life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. I love you today. I love you tomorrow. And I love you forever. No, I love you forever. <laughs> I love you so much, baby. Love you too, cause my heart and yours have bonded. I say my heart and yours have bonded. I don't care what to do, all I know you've captured my heart and we've bonded. Babe? Yes, you see, now that there is um, so much tension on ground, I would like to do the needful. Remember I told my mother I'll be coming back? Mm -hmm. Yes. I want you to inform her that I'll be coming with my people to do the need for. That's the marriage right. After which we move ahead to the wedding proper. Hmm? Whatever you want to do is okay by me, baby. All I want is to be with you. Same here. Unless I forget, after our wedding, I would um, want us to move to a better place. I just want peace for you and our baby. Hmm? Are you serious? Of course, yes, I am serious. Thank you so much, baby. I appreciate. We appreciate. <laughs> I appreciate you too, darling. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, so happy. Same here. You How can I be in the same city with my brother and I cannot even see him? Because of that, that stupid girl. I miss my brother so much. It's 
so quiet and peaceful out here. Yeah, true. I love the serene. It's um accommodating. Um Melvin. Yo. Do you know one thing? I'm I'm worried about you. So worried about you. Worried? <laughs> Why? Why are you worried about me? Look at you. Your love life is a mess. <sighs> like, it's not too late to have a family. It's not too late to find a good wife and start up a family, is it? You're not married either. Well, true, but maybe I choose not to. I'm a woman, but you are a man. You should keep up the legacy of this family. Fine. I'll see to that. Please, do. Or oh, I'll just go to all this remote place and, and, and then find you and then wake it tomorrow. <laughs> It's funny. Because I'll get you a wife and I'll make it married. My wife must be classy. Mm. Alright? Mm. I see. My wife must be classy. The same classiness that puts you in this mood. Classy. Oh God, go and look for one and make and marry. You know, the one that I heard was still one piece. All these classy people will just put you in trouble. You don't know. Why and make it? Or if you don't want, I'll just go myself and search for you. No, I'm your sister. What a sister for? If not inconveniences. <laughs> have you noticed something about my shoes? I have about 20 pairs of them. Maybe you cannot distract me. Okay? Capiche? Could get married. Stop wearing all this cap looking like one senator. You are not. Is that okay? Smile. I have to fight to get my brother back. Baby, really, you are spoiling us. That's what I live for, <laughs> right? Exactly. What I live for. I can't wait to see my child. <laughs> I mean, the feeling is different. Yes, a level of responsibility is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> but baby, I'm just three months gone and you've gotten more than enough for us. I've not started yet. Are you serious? Yes, <laughs> I will spoil you to silly. Oh, God. You don't know me. Mm. Huh? That reminds me, babe. I, I want you to travel out there. And then... Um, Rest until the child is born. And uh, I want you a mother. Mavi's house, am I? Did Mavi, did Mavi leave this house without telling me? 
He moved out. Property for sale or rent. How? I'm trying to call him now. Did he block me also? I just don't understand. What's happening here? Thank you for honoring my call. You're welcome. Where'd you be? It's been a while, you know. How have you been? To what do I owe this call? Um... It's Melvin. What about Melvin, no? I went to his house and I saw that he's moved out. I don't know. Um, the truth is, I've not been around for a while now. I just got back. I called him for a hangout and he told me he has moved out of his house. So you're not far from the truth. He has moved out. Please, I need your help. I need to see my brother. We actually lost communications for the past few months now and then. It's not been easy with me. I need to talk to my brother, please. <laughs> uh, did you say you need my help? Yes. No, but seriously, I... Uh, back then, I I told you to see reason with me. You know, I tried making you to see reason, but you, you didn't. Oh, now you need my help. It's okay. Um, I told you. Take it easy with this man. You refused. I told you this young man was in love. That you should not do anything that will break the bond between you and your sibling. But you didn't listen. Allow the young man to grow. Let him express himself. You refused. You see it? I tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. Yeah, um, I regret it now. But please, I need to speak to my brother, please. Let it be. I'll, I'll do my best, okay? I'll, I'll talk to Melvin. Uh, there's no point to you both um, continuing this field. It's not necessary, okay? Um, I'll see what I can do. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank All right, I'll drink now. So is life, how is business? Yes, darling. I think you should go and see your sister. Don't you think it's high time we all lived together as one big happy family? Well, I want that actually. 
But my fear is her reactions to it. I think she'll be happy to see you. She'll be happy to see you. Baby, you need to see her. You need to go and see her. She's still your sister. <laughs> Please. Anything for you, darling. Hmm? <laughs> First thing tomorrow morning, I'll, um, I'll go see my sister. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you. So, that didn't come out well. It's supposed to be, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know I love you too. Mm -hmm. And I love my little princess. Um, we are not sure if it's going to be a princess or a prince, but I would prefer a prince. No? Mm -hmm. A princess. No. A princess. A boy. A girl. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. No. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. Mommy's boy. Daddy's girl. Mm. Really? I am winning this. Mommy's boy. Don't, don't, don't. I give up. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Alright? I was just a young man in love. And I knew I was doing the right thing. I did it intentionally avoid you because um, I wanted to hurt your feelings. But because I wanted to give you space. I knew you will um, adjust with time. It's fine, my brother. I only wanted the best for you. I didn't mean no harm. I'm sorry for everything I did. You know. I'm happy that you're back now. I'm so happy you're back now. And please, I I need to say, Amanda, I owe her an apology. I do not have any right to have treated her that way. Right, that um, can be arranged. <clears throat> Meanwhile, um, sis, I want you to think of um, any business of your choice. Whatever it is that comes to your head or you want to do, just name it. I want to fund you. All right, at least for what you did for me in the past. I want to sponsor you. I want to support you heavily because I want you to stop all those rubbish business you've been, um, been doing with girls. It doesn't suit you, it doesn't suit us. We need to get this family together. All right? Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You know, I. I've stopped the business after the whole incident. I I got betrayed by one of my girls, Lizzy, and then she moved out of the house. You know, she was mad with me because of the way I treated Amanda. 
So after she left, I dismissed the other girls. And since that time, I've been in my own world, just on my own. No. <laughs> you cannot be on your own. I'm here for you. All right? And I'll be here for you forever. Okay? I'm going to miss you. miss you. I miss you. I wish to inform you that we have settled our differences and um, the bond is back. Darling, please, forgive me. I'm very sorry for the way I treated you. I didn't have such right to do that. I was just being selfish, you know, looking at my brother, but I was wrong. Please, kindly forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. Because it's nothing. I completely understand that you were trying to protect your brother. The truth is, I still hold you in high esteem. And I hold no grudge against you from the bottom of my heart. Because my happiness is tied to you. Lady B, if I had not met you, if you had not taken me in, I wouldn't have met the best man in the world, my husband. I wouldn't have been this happy. So I have you to thank, and also the almighty God, for making all this possible. So there is absolutely nothing to apologize for. You're such an angel. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the best. Lady Best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, stop saying thank you. I should be the one saying thank you. You look so beautiful. <laughs> there's this, this dance. <laughs> this this shiny look comes. There's, there's, there's something growing somewhere, maybe like a boy in the oven. Am, am, am I right? Am I? <laughs> oh my goodness! Like I'm, I'm so right. Yes, ah, we have to do a shop to buy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I could be an auntie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Together forever, nothing can separate us. Cause we are so strong. If they can beat us, they will join us, baby. Your love is calling me. And I got to answer the call. Then I make you mine. Together forever, hey. Cause we Bonded, bonded. My heart and yours is already bonded, bonded. And I will make you mine, and I'll never leave you. We are bonded, oh. we are bonded. Oh. Don't think I'm gonna leave you. You are the one I have chosen. Choice is final. No one's gonna question it. You are that woman, and you've shown me you're the one for me.